Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to be providing you with a brief overview of what's new in Tyke's Enterprise Developer Portal. So let's get started. Heading over to the browser, I have got my new developer portal open here. And really, this is a way to showcase your API products, making it really easy for API consumers to discover, to search, to understand the API products that you are exposing as an API provider. You can add more information in terms of you know, adding use cases. You can add more getting started information. You can add blog posts in terms of how to's. You can add case studies if you would want to. Anything and everything that you would need to enable API consumers to build out their applications by getting a better understanding of the API products and the plans that you're providing. This is the main key driver of having this developer portal. It pretty much acts as a very, very simple yet powerful content management system, giving you the ability to create blogs, giving you the ability to create and customize pages, and of course, to be able to catalog and publish API products and plans, which we will get into shortly. Before we do that, let's head on over to the administrative side of things, which is where we have the portal admin app. In order to do that, we will have to log in. So let's hit login. And here you can see this is the developer portal admin app. This is how you're going to be controlling what um, API products and plans are going to be published, what kind of catalogs you're going to be having, the different API consumer requests coming in, customization, all of that is controlled by this admin application. Now, there are a whole range of new changes and updates over here, starting off with just the user experience and the design of things. It's a lot cleaner, a lot easier to actually understand and use. So starting off with providers, and really the purpose of providers is to connect the developer portal to a Tyke instance, a self-managed instance in this case, and import the API products and plans that we are going to be creating using policies on the Tyke dashboard. So if we head on over to the providers section, we'll see that there is already a provider here, but what is really new and powerful at the same time is that we have now provided the ability to add multiple type instances and connect it to a single developer portal. So different instances within an organization can now feed information, now synchronize API products and plans into a single developer portal, which makes it a lot more powerful in terms of actually building out your API product catalog. So that is your number one key thing that we have added. Now, moving right along, this is really, again, when we think about providing value through the developer portal, we think about productization, we think about monetization, we think about segmentation and how we are actually enabling access to uh, different APIs that we have in an organization. So with that, we have now introduced the API products. So what API product API products is actually an easy way to offer bundles of APIs as products to external developers. So think of them as packages, essentially groupings of different APIs instead of having um, individual APIs that may be strewn over the developer portal, something that the application developers, consumers will have to search for and find. You've essentially have the ability here to group them all together into a logical uh, value providing bundle. For example, if you look at API products here, we can see that I've grouped, um, we've got a couple of products here. We've got a user data product, which has uh, just user info or user information, user related information. And I've got a user data API product, which has a couple of different APIs, a few different APIs that are grouped together, providing anyone who's building an application requiring these pieces of information, especially perhaps creating a personalization app where you want to look at user purchase history or user preferences, as well as user info, you have the ability to bundle and group all of that together and make it really easy to once again, search, discover, and understand the API products that are being made available for consumption by API consumers. So that's API products. Next in line, we've got plans. And if you look at what plans are, plans are really, they, they unlock the ability to create tiered access levels to one or more API products. Now think of these as primarily subscription levels, if you were to think about it, where you can have your uh, freemium plans or bronze plans or silver plans, which have varying degrees of quotas, rate limits, and really all of this is in service 
of beginning the journey towards API monetization. So what that really looks like under plans is you can have something like a premium plan, you can have something like a freemium plan, and that can have varying degrees of quotas, varying degrees of rate limits that you might want to provide, and you might want to publish that uh, inside catalogs. So taking us next to catalogs. This is essentially how you're going to be publishing any of your API products and plans. And the catalogs provide a way to actually provide segmentation of uh, API products. And what that means is you can surface API products and plans to targeted audiences. So if you look at what catalogs are, catalogs really enables you to have the ability to publish API products and plans based on visibility and access requirements. Now, you can have different kinds of catalogs. You can have two types of visibilities associated with it, which is internal and public. So public, as the name suggests, is going to be open to all, but internal has a few nuances where internal can be specific to a team. Uh, it can be specific to users. You can, you have the choice, you have the ability to actually target specific audience and audience groups to surface and provide uh, API products for consumption. So this all in all is the bundle, the developer portal bundle for um, productizing, monetizing, and segmentation of your API products for easier consumption. Speaking of which, we the next segment goes into API consumption. Before we do that, let's have a real quick look. We, let's go back to our external portal, which is the live portal. I can do that from here. And if I go over to catalogs, I can see the API products that we saw in the portal admin app uh, being available over here. So right now I'm looking at all different catalogs. I can choose and have my public catalog over here, which will give me user data. And that's kind of what I have chosen. And if I want to get into this, we've got more information. And this will give you a view of the APIs that are available within this API product. Right now, that is just user info. If I go back and look at the private catalog, I will be able to see the user data API product as well. If I go in there, I'll see there are multiple APIs available inside this product. Also, within the same catalog, I have a private catalog. I've got a few different plans that is available. You've got the freemium plan and premium plan. And when I want to add this to the cart, I can do that. And once I head on over to the cart, I'll have the choice of selecting the right product, which I just chose, as well as associating that with a specific plan if I wanted to, and then add that to either an existing app or creating a new app. I'm not going to do that at the moment. So that, in essence, is the consumer flow of how things would work. And when we go back to the portal admin, I think once the request comes in, once you've submitted a request for purchase, you go on over to the API consumer side, you'll be able to see apps that are using your API products and which API products, which who is the developer, who is the user, and what kind of app they are going to be using. This is, this is a list of... Uh, access requests that come in as well in terms of who has requested access and permission to your products. Uh, what is the status of that? Um, if it's pending, you can actually go ahead and either approve or reject the, the, the request, and you can manage all of that over here. And then further, you get the ability to organize your um, your your users, your API consumers, in terms of organizations, if you wanted to get into creating organizations, can uh, organizations will have teams, or you can go into users who are also going to be who are going to be part of teams as well. So you, it's a really nice way for audience management that we have got going here, especially when it comes to API consumers. Now, one last thing under API consumers is the ability to create and send out invite codes. So what invite codes really do is that using these invite codes, users will be directly assigned to a team and organization. It is really an endeavor to simplify the overall user onboarding, and it will give them the same access right as their team. So if you've associated the, the, this invite to a specific team and that team has specific access rights and permissions, if a developer were to register to the developer portal using this invite code, then they will be automatically onboarded with the same privileges, the same permissions, the same access rules as the team or the organization, depending on what level of access you have. So that, in essence, is what we have brought, again, from the API consumer side of things, audience management side of things, the overall journey, the, the developer experience of getting the right information to find the right information, to understand it all and building out applications. 
And then we move on to the world of customization. I think that's the other really powerful thing that we have brought in here, which is really through blogs where you can actually create posts, you can categorize these blogs, you can have different blog sites if you want to have different ways of, uh, again, grouping your posts. And really, this is a way for you to showcase your API expertise, to create how-to uh, articles so that it's easy for your developers to understand um, how your API products can be best used and how others are potentially using these uh, API products as well. Then we've got the custom under the customization section, we also got have ability to um, update and create themes, which will again, change the look and feel of the external, the live portal. You can add new pages. You can add menus and menu items if you want to have different hierarchies, uh, as opposed to what you have got going um, here, where you've got blogs and about us, you can add this, you can change this. You can, it's, you are in control in terms of the brand, in terms of the personality of the live portal that is gonna enable your you to actually communicate, to collaborate with, the external developers who are gonna be building applications on top of your API products. So we've made all of that really, really easy, really, really simple. And last but not least, we've got the ability, the support for, we've got dynamic client registration right here where we've got support for identity providers for you to integrate with existing identity providers in your organization, um, such as Keycloak, Okta, um, we've got Glue, and I think by the, by now we've also got support for security as well. But you know, any and all identity providers, as long as they are following the right standards, you'll be able to connect with them and uh, use Tyke as the the mediator in between the identity provider as well as your, your API uh, products. So that, in essence, is a really brief overview of what we've got going with uh, the new enterprise developer portal. And really the key thing here to understand is that this is the most flexible and straightforward way for API providers to publish, monetize, and drive adoption of APIs. That is our endeavor. And that is kind of what we have uh, worked towards in bringing this product to you to enable you in your journey towards productization, towards monetization, and customizing your overall experience and making the developer experience as smooth, as easy. You don't want your developers to be fighting with platforms. They want them to easily discover the API products that um, they want and need and build out applications and be productive and be innovative with the APIs, underlying APIs and, and what they intend to do. So hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that gave you a bit of an understanding in terms of what we've got going here. Uh, if you want to look at specific how-to videos in terms of creating um, API products, plans, or connecting different providers or installing the developer portal or publishing and consuming the entire flow of how you can publish and consume API products and plans together from the live portal. All of that is also available in different videos. So feel free to um, check those out. For more information, definitely look at our documentation, which is also available right here. And you'll find everything explained in detail uh, with step-by-step -step journeys into accomplishing different tasks with the developer portal. So with that, I leave you with this incredibly new and powerful developer portal. Um, hope you found this useful. And until next time, cheers and take care.